Good, happy Tuesday evening, August 25, 2015. I'm Riley King, and welcome to your business news wrap-up. Let's get started. 400 points Dow really vanishes. A 400-point surge for the Dow vanished at the end of the trading session late Tuesday. The latest sigh of how jittery markets have became about the health of the global economy. Stocks shed gains as Wall Street steps off the accolator. After surging through most of the trading day, Wall Street put the bricks on significant rally late in the session Tuesday as all the major U.S. average fell firmly back in correction territory. Sadu Arabia squeezed by oil swan. Sadu Arabia is getting squeezed by oil's year long slump. For the Fed public enemy, number one, deflation. Without a debate, U.S. Policymakers are watching the U.S. stock market swing in the U.S. and China with the greatest interest. However, the global stock rut isn't the real problem for the FOMC declining curb in material prices are. September rate hike still on the ta table. A September rate hike remains on the table, except said expectors said Tuesday as stock market rebounded following a three-day sell-off that pushed all three major averages into correction territory. Whole Foods Goes Discount takes on Trader Joe's with new 365 stores. As Whole Foods NASDAQ WFM forge ahead with plans to open lower cost version of its store, consumers and investors alike may be worried. Will it pay off? And now let's take a look at your stocks. Here's a look at your stocks. And that does it for your business news wrap up. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. Goodbye, everyone.